one of those historical names of watchmaking known for more kind of classic uh, type of uh, timepieces. It's always a risk, obviously, to come up with a full new collection inspired by a much more modern feel to it. Let's find out more about that. Well, the idea behind this, of course, is that uh, in the market there is a pent-up demand for luxury steel watches. And as we all know in the industry, there are some of them you just can't get. And the other part of the question was that for us as a small independent, we have always wanted strategically to become a partner for our retailers that offers, let's say, the whole range of luxury uh, products. And we, we're quite famous for our uh, high-end haute watches on, on exotic straps. But there is a very, very large part of the market that simply is luxury steel watches. And we want it also, uh, with, uh, with regards to our retailers, to become a full supply partner. And that's why we strategically already five years ago, we knew we were going to go here. Uh, but as everyone probably can anticipate, this is not the easiest of tasks. So it's taken a bit of time. But I think uh, we found something that um, that really will make its mark in the industry because at the end of the day, uh, we haven't seen much news in this category for almost 40 years. It's uh, Gerald Genta's iconic pieces and, and now we try to put, let's say, our hat in the ring and um, the feedback has been fantastic. From my time at Nokia where we made 50 new products every year, I have a certain methodology on how this is done and I, I asked simply through a design brief a number about 15 of my colleagues and friends from life there was a world famous car designer and other people that you know with this brief uh, do you have a good idea and one of them actually uh, 30 minutes after receiving the brief uh, called me back and said hey you know uh, I don't know much about watches but they're all round and the earth is round and the sun is round and the universe and so I just I just played with a lot of circles and that's actually where the fundamental core DNA of the Jurgensen 1 collection came from. It's all circular so when you look at the designs there are no straight lines anywhere and it is a, such a strong DNA that the small details you can attach to it and you still end up with something that's harmonious and that was a challenge. We've developed the fir our first uh, in-house automatic movement. It's a very robust movement, so this is not a slim eight millimeter thing. This is a robust watch. Um, the movements are twin barrel, uh, automatic, 72 hours power reserve. Uh, it probably will deliver 80, but we, we promise 72. Um, and these are our first two automatic movements. There's a three-hander with date, and a three-hander with date and a GMT functionality, which is quite unique. And uh, coming back to your collectors and actual customers, uh, how do they perceive this new timepiece? The, the reception has been fantastic. Actually, I, I had a budget for this year, which even before Basel was pre-sold 50%. Uh, here, the feedback has been really, really great. Uh, the, especially a lot of commentary on the bracelet and, and the overall fluidity of the design. And the more you go in details and you watch the little things, you discover that the coherence of the original DNA shines through. Uh, short little detail, like we have a tapered bracelet, but it actually tapers all the way through the lugs as well. So the lugs are, are tapered inside, not parallel, and it's, it's these tiny little things that probably wouldn't have been done by anybody else because now you have a difficulty how you attach the bracelets. But that's what we do at Urban Jurgensen. It's, it's that little bit extra, a little bit more difficult, a little bit towards the higher end, and, and the reception has been great. Uh, congratulations and thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure. Yeah.